Hey everybody, so I'm back again and I have a very special video, something that you guys have been requesting for a hot minute and have been looking forward to. And uh, so today, as you can probably see here in front of you, you probably see all these like black dots and stuff. So that is actually a design, even though it's kind of upside down right now in editing, I'll flip it. However, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making a dinosaur cupcake cake for my son, Malachi. He just turned five on the 19th and we're gonna be having his party on the weekend. That way everybody can be there because of work schedules and stuff. But anyways, as you know, I don't really cook, I don't really bake and everything. So what we're gonna be doing is, is I'm gonna have a very special guest, which of course you guys know her as the host of Tasty Thursdays. And it's been a very, very long time since you guys have seen her. And a lot of things have changed and I'm sure that she's gonna be glad to tell you guys about her exciting news and stuff like that and why she looks so incredible now. So without further ado, mom. So as you guys can tell, she looks a lot more smaller <laughs> and everything. Would you like to tell them? Hi, everybody. I'm glad to be back. I hope you all have been well since I've seen you last time on my other Tasty Thursday videos. I have had a pediatric surgery done and I have lost well over 100 pounds and i am excited which is crazy because i've never been able to wrap my arms completely around you yes and now i can yes and everything so this is this is new yeah so totally new what we're going to be kind of talking about today is basically making the cake but then also we're going to be talking a little bit about the court case and why mm -hmm. things happened the way that they did and why we were kind of gone for so long mm -hmm. um, and kind of what was going on with that. And then I also have some questions that you guys asked as well that I'm going to be asking mom yes. so that way she can answer them. Um, but we'll start off with the first one. Is there going to be more Tasty Thursday videos in the future? I hope so. Upcoming, more nutritional videos, more mm -hmm. um, things that are healthy forward that mm -hmm. can help everybody out and hopefully get some feedback. But also too, we had mentioned something about uh, the idea of doing children's food yes. for babies and stuff. And Definitely. we have a special guest for those videos, which happens to be an adorable little puppet that's going to be helping yes. with nutritional. Yes. So we're gonna have some puppets for the show. Yes, so, so that way your kids can play and have healthy foods and be able to interact with the puppet at the same time and we hope to have malachi yep. be the taste tester so malachi is going to be the taste tester in the food so hopefully yes. hopefully your judge isn't too harsh on food but yes. if we know how malachi is he mm -hmm. does love his food he is so yeah and can be a picky eater at can be a picky eater but with luck hopefully we can make foods that he's going to enjoy as well as your children at yes home. um so otherwise we have four cameras going around and stuff i do have my ipad so i will be kind of following her yeah. whenever we come over here to take you to the icing and stuff so go ahead and let's explain the process to how the dinosaur cupcake cake is made okay for one, I already pre-made my cupcakes. So I pre-made them last night. I put them in the fridge and which I made my Hershey's cupcakes, which is a really easy cupcake batter to make. You could actually find the recipe on the back of the Hershey's cocoa um, uh, container. So, and follow it to a T and it is so simple to make and it is the best chocolate. So just, chocolate just cake for mix. reference. So these cupcakes alone are very moist and everything very squishy and everything. They are very, very good. I've already tried a couple of them. Um, they are amazing. And to make things more simple, if you don't have time, if you have issues with small print or something like that mm -hmm. on the cocoa box, we will put it down in the description. Yes. So that way you guys are able to get to it more excessively. Um, but right now we're gonna be working on the icing and making sure that we start decorating the cake because his party is tomorrow. Yes. So, so and this is my first attempt at taking and doing a dinosaur cupcake, which is a pull apart cupcake. Um, so 
um, what you can do is, is you can actually download the um, cake diagram, diagram, yeah, diagram for this particular cupcake. And it's so simple to take mm -hmm. and do and count them out. You just need 26 cupcakes. And I just looked at the diagram and laid it out. Yep. And what I'm going to be doing is also is affixing the cupcakes to the board as we go. So this way they'll stick to your board. So that way they're not moving as we're uh, doing the icing. Also. But also too, it makes it more convenient, especially for small hands and children. Um, instead of waiting for parents to bring out knives and utensils yes. where accidentally somebody could get cut or something, it's easier mm -hmm. for children to be able just to go up and grab it and pull it away. Yeah. Um, and plus too, since we know that children love to play with their food and pull things yeah. apart, um, this is fun for them. Yeah. Um, and also too, it's equal and it's fair because they all get a cupcake in, in the particular size that yeah. they're wanting. Yeah. So, okay. Let's go ahead and start making the icing. Yes. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I will meet you guys over here in the corner. And uh, Gigi's going to start with the whole mixing process. Yeah. Oh, okay. He called me Gigi. Oh, By yeah. the way, <laughs> that is my nickname for um, another term for grandma. Yep. Just to let you know, um, that's what Malachi calls me, is Gigi. I didn't, so. even, I didn't even realize that I called you Gigi yeah. until... You pointed that out. Yeah. I'm so used to saying that because. So they're not confused. Yeah. So, because I'm so used to saying that because Malachi always says GG. Gigi. Gigi. So, um, also, too, during the video, I might bring in some special guests and everything, which happen to be some reptiles that I own. Um, yeah. So, if you don't like snakes and everything, um, just kind of skip forward a couple of seconds. Yeah. Um, other than that and everything, I still have Raw, which I know a lot of you guys still remember him. Yes. Um, so I'm going to bring him on a little bit, but I'm also going to bring on his bigger sister. Um, she is a lot bigger than a the rest. Bigger. A lot bigger than the rest of them. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to be bringing on Malachi's pet as well. Um, yes. So other than that, let's go ahead and get started on the icing. Yes. And we'll meet you on over there. Okay, so why mom is doing her thing, I'm going to bring on one of our special guests. So this is Isis, and um, so she is a spider ball python, and so she genetically will hang her head upside down and stuff. Um, she's a really, really pretty snake, so I'm not. I'm gonna try my best not to hold her over the cake, but this is what she looks like. She's really pretty. Um, she has these beautiful markings and colors on her. Um, She's very, very gorgeous. And she has these very beautiful, like emerald green eyes. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up very well or not. But, um, so, you know, Malachi School has basically said that when show and tell happens, um, because the snakes are very docile and stuff that I'm able to bring them up there. And if the kids want to, they're able to touch the back end of the snake, like the tail or something like that. Um, so that way Malachi has a really cool uh, show and tell. Um, that he can come up there and he can educate his peers um, on reptiles and stuff like that because we personally see them as very, very fascinating species um, and that they're part of the ecosystem and they are there for a reason and they're very important and they're very, very beautiful creatures and they deserve a lot of respect and care and love. Um, so right now, what Gigi is doing is she is taking a little bit of her homemade icing and she's putting them on the bottom of the cupcakes. And what she's doing is she's fixing them to the bottom of the board. So that way, whenever you put the icing on and you're spreading it around, um, your cupcakes don't move on you. Um, Cause we don't want that. We want our cupcake design to stay in place. Um, so that way, and Isis is getting really curious. She loves the color of your top. <laughs> um, so, uh, but other than that, we're, we're starting on that. And then we're going to start getting the coloring for the icing and everything made. And then we're going to go from there. So there's a, there's a lot of preparedness and process kind of with this kind of like cake and cupcake design. Um, but the end result is amazing and your children will absolutely yes. love it. And the recipe for this icing is so simple. You just need four sticks of room temperature butter, 
uh, unsalted or salted. And then uh, just 32 ounces of powdered sugar, which is one whole bag and one teaspoon of vanilla. That's it. And then you basically beat your uh, four sticks of butter until you beat it and then scrape it down about every two to three minutes until you get a lot of air in it. You'll actually see the butter color change to a lighter pale color. And once you get that and you scrape it down, I'd say about two to three times, then all you do is literally add your powdered sugar. Basically after that, in the middle of the process, about halfway through your bag of powdered sugar, add your teaspoon of vanilla, add the rest of your powdered sugar, it's done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. So simple. And it tastes delicious. Yep. And it's not very sweet at all. So, and this, this, basically this buttercream, you can store it um, outside of the fridge. You can put it in the fridge overnight. And then when you bring it out, let it sit at room temperature or take and put a blender and mix it with your mixer and bring it back up and it's good to go. Yep. That's how simple it is. Okay, I think I got all of our cupcakes. Anchored. Anchored down, I'm okay. pretty sure. Let me check. You don't want any running away from us. All right. And okay, so let's... I'm gonna go ahead and put Isis up and then we're gonna start on the buttercream. Yes. Okay, so my mom is doing that. I wanna talk to you guys about something just real quick. So, uh, mom, so you and I have quite the story to tell whenever it comes to the situation with Malachi and the rest of what we talked about in the podcast with Mandy and Daniel. And uh, yes, there is yes. Some special guests and stuff like that that will be coming on. Um, but in one of the episodes, I do believe that it's one or two, which if you haven't seen the podcast, I, I urge you to try to go watch it because what we're going to be talking about kind of won't make sense if you have it. Um, so mom, do you remember the day that, um, I called you and I told you that she had taken off with Malachi? Yes. And what was your experience with that phone call from your point of view and how you felt about it? I was kind of like in dismay because I didn't realize what was going on. I didn't know trying to figure out what she thought she was doing mm -hmm. because I was like, really? <laughs> so I was trying to wrap my brain around it because you went in and you were showing me what she left behind yeah the, the images to the house yeah because she took practically everything and it was like i couldn't believe that she did what she did i was just like i was just in dismay of what it was okay I'm going to tell you right now that we're going to be using um, green for the grass. We're going to be using blue, or I'm sorry, green for the dinosaur. <laughs> and we're going to be using blue for the spots. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to be using some white underneath the dinosaur first to take and give a nice smooth layer and to take and do like a little filler. Okay. So that way the, it'll have the dinosaur will have a nice layer for the green is what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be using, um, our icing bags to also be putting that on. So that way it's going to be okay. a little easier to fill in the spots and in between. Also to, you know, not sponsored, but Hey, baby barista, if you would like to have a review of your amazing machine, 
um, as well as the bottle company over there. Please let me know because I would love to review you guys' product. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. And how many drops of coloring are we just going to wing this until we get the color that we want? Yeah, kind of. I usually use about three to four, five or six, depending on how dark you want it. So that's um, kind of what I do. Um, and then depending on, and I use liquid and gel. It kind of depends on, now the gel colors usually tend to come out darker, mm -hmm. whereas the liquid colors, you can tend to um, control them a little bit better. Okay. So it just really depends on what colors you're going for. Okay. So that's kind of what you want to go for. Okay. Let's see. Yes, and my fridge is covered in a bunch of uh, paintings and stuff from all the kids. So you could, if you wanted to, you could mix the color in with a... With a mixer or with a spin. Right, okay. It's like a really pretty, like pastel green color. Yeah, and this is with the liquid color. Okay. Which I think we're definitely gonna have to have some more green. And by the way, Malachi, I asked him what he wanted for his birthday this year. Because last year I did him a Ninja Turtle cake. Yes, which I will and, insert a picture of that. It was absolutely adorable. And this year, he said he wanted a dinosaur cake. Yes. So um, I got online and got to look in, and I just happened to come across the pull apart cake, which was done with the cut cake. Well, and at one point, we were talking about doing a cake where you had to do like an armature with uh, Rice Krispie Treats yes, and fondant. Yes, the T-Rex. Yes, the T-Rex. But that would have taken a couple of days yes. to actually build and produce. Mm -hmm. And well, the Ninja Turtle cake, I did that. And when you cut into it, it looked like the turtle shell on the inside. By the way, guys, if you want to know, this is kind of what we're looking at as we're as we're filming. So, okay, so I will come back whenever she's ready to start doing the other. Okay, so what Mom is currently doing right now, since I also have another special guest in here, <laughs> um, so. She is right now doing white icing piped onto it to kind of more enforce like the rest of the cake in the and area that it needs to be in. Yeah. Just an FYI, I forgot my other icing bag. You see I have my blue and my green in my icing bags right now. This is a little tip for you. If you don't have icing bags, use a Ziploc bag. Yep. And cut a tip off of the corner there and you can use it. So I'm just gonna go around and take an outline the cake, basically. This is just gonna be a real simple thing to do with your icing, basically. Just go around, twist this off. Yeah, this part doesn't have to be perfect. Be, yeah, this part. You're, you're gonna put a, you're gonna put a layer of green icing on top of it. Yeah, this is just gonna make your base a little easier to deal with. Yeah. And then this, all you have to do is just discard it after you're done. See, that simple. Mm -hmm. Just real quick. Yep. And then next thing she's going to take, um, I'm going to take, icing. what is, what is that called? This right here is a smoothing board. You can get these at any, um, like, like Hobby Lobby, Hobby Walmart, Lobby. 
even the Dollar Tree has these because I actually picked these little kits up. Um, I could not find my icing Dollar Tree. Kits. Hey, Mom, do you remember the Dollar Tree makeup challenge that I did? Yes, I uh -huh. do. That uh -huh. was so much fun. Yeah. I remember that. That was so much fun doing that. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to take this over this and smooth it all out. Just kind of press it in. Smooth that out a little bit. And this also kind of helps too if your icing is at room temperature. It helps it spread a lot more easier um, versus like, you know. Yes. And you also, another tip too, is I took a little cookie scoop and I did two scoops per uh, cup on each one to take and fill them because you don't want your cupcakes overfilled when you're doing this. You want them to be level. Yeah, you don't want them to have a dome. Yeah, you do not want them to be um, overdone because otherwise, if they are, when you uh, put them in the fridge, when you get them cold, you can bring them out and take like a round cookie cutter, turn them upside down, cut the sides off, and then that way you don't have um, that outer edge on there, and you can make sure that they're not, they're symmetrical and they can fit together a little bit better. And like I said, this is my first attempt at making a pull apart cupcake cake. So, if you, you know, guys, we're all learning here. Archer's head is right next to my microphone. So if you guys hear him burp, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> He's learning manners. So we all have to learn manners here. No, he just decided to like fall asleep, kind of. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with that part. So now we're gonna get our green. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Right that in the microphone. A, that was a big one. Right in the microphone. Okay, this is gonna be our green. And I'm just gonna put this on here like this. Well, that's a really pretty color. Yes, it came out really nice. Do you want to talk to people in the microphone? No? Okay. Yep, there he goes. I'm doing this kind of in like a little rosette, but after we do this, I'm going to smooth this out. And I will be right back because I am going to refill my icing bag. Okay, now we're back. I got my icing that I needed to get refilled. And we are going to finish this up. Heavenly had to go feed Archer. We got to get the baby who done took the feel, get him all set up. Hungry baby comes first. I'll tell you, never thinking to be in a grandmother, becoming a grandmother to three, that's a little overwhelming after a while. But I'll tell you right now, that's the best thing in the world. All right, 
Now we're going to take our uh, smoothing thing and we're going to smooth this all out. Just gently smooth with a long, gradual thing. You can fill in the holes later if you have any. Don't be careful not to press in. And you can already start to see that it's looking like a dinosaur. And you can always make extra cupcakes if you have, say, more than 26 kids. This is such a fun cake to do. I forgot how fun and it was to take and do this. This is like my zen when I'm cooking. And I love to do this for my grandchildren. And I love to hear all your false feedback. So please let Heavenly know how you guys are all doing. All right. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like this. <laughs> so, so believe me. Now, if you get a little too much on your scraper, all you need to take and do is just scrape that off on your cut and then just go back in and start smoothing it out and see how well that works. I disappeared for a minute and uh, I come and back to a green dinosaur. Yes. He's looking really cute, ain't he? Yeah, he's looking adorable. Yeah. And then we'll add his spikes and his eyes and his spots. Now, if you want to be like a super perfectionist, you can and everything and make sure that the edges are nice and clean. But honestly, it's just going to get eaten anyways. Like, <laughs> Well, I, I'm kind of a perfectionist on that. Yeah, I, know. I kind of overheard you saying something about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, but we haven't added all the details yet, so. Well, it usually comes together once all the details start hitting. Yeah. Now, if your icing starts to get a little soft, you can always stop, take it, put it in your fridge, put it in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes. Now, with something this size. And then size, take it back out. Yeah. <laughs> do make sure that you have a space mm -hmm. cleaned out first. Yep. Before you start this. Because if you don't, yeah, you're you're going to have an issue. So if you're doing this, say, the day before or a couple of days mm. before, because these cupcakes do store very well. You can store them at least, I would say, at least um, 48 uh -huh. hours to 72 hours, you know, in your fridge and um, freezer, I would say up to a week. So you're good on that if you need to do something like that. Okay, now we're doing his little spikes. So we're gonna go along here. And this is gonna be his spikes. right here and then we're going to do little dots and then this is going to be right here right there just little you can go random if you want to well i think dinosaur scales are pretty random yeah however that's... we know now that dinosaurs typically have feathers yeah so which is why chickens are the closest to t-rexes yeah ain't that funny t-rexes mm -hmm. become chickens and chickens become chicken dinosaur nuggets yeah the evolution of life yeah and then i am gonna kind of outline him And this is just something that I'm doing. You don't have to outline him if you don't want to, but I'm going around and doing it myself. It's just kind of like tidy up your edges. Yeah. Tidy up. Tidy, tidy up.
David, do you want to make a special guest appearance? Just kind of come in and hot and wave. All righty. There we go. We got his little spikes on there. We got his little spots. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of white, put a little dot right here. And then Heavenly happened to have some googly eyes. Yeah, some edible googly And eyes. some edible googly eyes. And we are going to take and put his eye right here. And we're going to make him a little smile. So that way we can finish him off. And then I am going to do a little bit of decoration on the cake board. And that way he can have some grass. And then we're pretty much done. That's yeah. how simple it was to take and do this cake. Okay, so we'll be right back when we're ready to do that. And we'll move on forward. Um, I got my white icing. And we've already put the eye on there. And then we're going to take and make him a little smile right there and then we have little googly eye right here that we're gonna place on there so delicately that is the smallest little googly eye but you know what dinosaurs had <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a small googly eye but it works for what we need it for so and then I am going to make him some little tiny claws. If I can get that on there. There we go. Now he's got some little tiny claws. And then I was going to show you, I found this at the Dollar Tree store and they are nowhere near sponsored by this, but I just happened to go there. And I also found this at the Dollar Tree store. But now if Dollar and Tree wants to reach out and they want to sponsor, sponsor, I'm okay with that too. The only thing that I require is that 20% off for any of my like subscribers yeah. that buy anything. So that's my only thing. Yeah. So, But I thought this was adorable because if you have extra cupcakes, which I'm going to do, um, I'm going to decorate these extra cupcakes for the candles so that way i don't have to stick the candles in the actual uh cake the dinosaur no. itself so that way malachi can actually take and blow out the candles for him mm -hmm. and nobody else has to mess with those cupcakes so once you're done with that part because we're all done with the dinosaur we can actually take and start decorating the board in which I have some green here and I change my tip and this tip is going to come out. Let me clean that off a little bit. Sorry. It was dipped in there and I'm going to, and I have icy coming out. I know I caught it. <laughs> I was like, I am going to make some grass on the board and you don't have to make it all the same. Yeah, you can stagger it and make it uneven and stuff. Because typically, I mean, grass is relatively uneven. Yeah. Is. Um, so now, okay, on a side note, because I know that we're making the cake, we're having so much fun, but I do want to ask you another question. Okay. You remember on September 19th of last year, we had pre-trial, but then you were there for the day of trial, which was the longest and most brutal day of our lives because I was on the stand being asked questions by both uh respondent as well as my attorney which is amanda solomon and my thought is is you were sitting in the back um listening and watching everything that was going on and for me you know sitting in the the stand at, you know in the chair next to where the judge is and the bailiff and being asked questions from your point of view how did you feel that the day of trial went and what were your thoughts about certain things that were being asked and what was your thoughts when you heard uh the ruling from the judge it was a sigh of relief actually i mean honestly the way to seeing her acting was just unbelievable because she acted as if she did nothing wrong yeah like she was 
oblivious well, you know, to her actions. An, an exact quote from her in the courtroom is that she said that she never alienated, you know, Malachi from me. But, you know, withholding a child for 18 months is classified as alienation. Yes. Um, and the judge did call her out for that, you know, like the fact that you blatantly deny alienating your child from his father is beyond me. Yeah. Um, but, you know, at the same time, he's now, you know, he was born September 19th. You know, it's been a grueling and long adventure. You were there for some of the pickup and drop offs. You were there for um, the beginning of the court case for the 18 months that we did not have him. Um, I believe that you were the one that made the quote that um, you said that it was like, it felt like feeling like the loss of a family member. While yes, was it was. It was like, I mean, honestly, it had gotten to the point where I thought, you know, knowing that I never realized I would have a grandchild to begin with. And then all of a sudden I was a grandma. Yeah. And then to think that she just took off with him and we missed all that. I missed the first steps. I missed the first birthday. You, um, you and I both uh, did. Yeah, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. And we missed all those milestones. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden to just get that sigh of relief of saying, oh my God, we're actually going to be able to enjoy him now. Yeah. And a mom myself, yes, it's heart wrenching to know that he was getting taken away from his mother but it's actually in a way knowing that he's not going to be impacted by a negative way the way that she was impacted i him. think in one of the episodes we had i had discussed with mandy and one of the podcasts which you know i can't stress enough and everything that you guys you know go check it out if you haven't um, I had said in no way, shape or form was it ever my goal to take him away from his mother because who am I to do that considering that my dad was never in my life. I don't want him to experience the same emotions or feelings that I went through. And, you know, that was never a goal of ours. <clears throat> but, you know, the way that things go in court is that when a judge or attorney see that there is a parent that is negatively impacting the emotional and mental stability of a child um then it becomes in the court's best interest to protect that child because the child should be worried about being a child and not worrying about what their parents are doing um or how you know what what's happening in their divorce or marriage or, or etc you know the kids start to feel like they're torn in between which this, these are things that i'm going to be talking about um more in depth in my book which is minor child which is is still in process and those are things that i'll be talking about more in depth with mandy um but the whole point of this is not only to show that like you know we are appreciative to have malachi not just because you know it's my right as his father to be in his life but also these are things that we wanted to do with him like for his first birthday you wanted to make him a baby cake that he could destroy yeah. You know, and he never got and to do that. We never got to do that. It was a smash cake. Yeah. That was something that we had been planning. And then she, that's when she left. Yeah. And then we had big plans for, you know, doing all of this stuff for Christmas and all of this stuff for, you know, his birthday. And it was just gone. It was just taking from us. And you know, my mom and is, you know, you're one of several people that is a party to the witness for everything. You know, we have David Dunsell, which is my yeah. cousin, my second cousin and your first cousin, right? Yes. And you know, he can contest to a lot of things. I know you guys have been asking about like, you know, how did you get your car back? You know, et cetera. You know, David is a big portion of that. He was there during that incident. Yes. And uh, at some point he will be in a video, we'll sit down and we'll talk uh, more about that situation because I know some of you guys are asking very particular questions that because you know David used to work in the car dealership industry he has knowledge that I don't really have that he knows how to answer those questions better yes. um, and might be able to help some of you guys that are, might be going through the same situation that I went through um, but other than that 
and everything. I, you know, my mom has a very busy schedule. Uh, mm -hmm. My grandmother is still doing good, but still has some medical issues. And my mom's being a caretaker. Yeah. Why I'm also a full-time stay-at-home parent. Uh, and Daniel is working. And, um, you know, you also now have a relationship yes. uh, with Chris, which, you know, is a wonderful guy. Um, my thing is, is, is like as a child, you know, like I said, my dad was never in my life. So I'm very protective over my mom. Um, yes. And I think that, you know, it's not Chris's, he, he, it's not Chris's place to try to live up to your child's expectations, but he has, mm -hmm. um, you know, he takes my mom out four wheeling and going out and having fun and going out to eat. Yes. And these are things that, you know, why she was a single mom taking care of me. Uh, she didn't really get that opportunity because she was so busy either working or taking care of me. And now yeah. my mom has that opportunity. Um, and I'm appreciative to Chris because he has made my mom very happy. Yeah. Um, Don't so, start yeah, tearing no. up. So he, he has, <laughs> he has made my mom very happy and um in, in a way i'm also glad that our family has gotten bigger too because yes he has I, yeah. a son of his own yes he does uh which is nice which mm -hmm. basically makes me a, a, a you step have a little, yeah, yeah you have a, a little brother yeah. now yeah um but also too later on you and i can sit down and start talking about uh my biological dad and yes. that situation yes um because you know newer developments have come up and that's mm -hmm. something that is mind blowing that I would love to share with you guys. Cause it's a huge part of me yeah. and us. Yeah. Um, but other than that, so the dinosaur cake has been made. made. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start to end this episode out and everything. I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's episode. I know that yes. it's been a very interesting one kind of talking about highs and lows, but then also, um, making this wonderful cake for Malachi's birthday party. Um, but other than that, I hope that you guys have a yes. very heavenly day. Yes. And um, hopefully in the future, we'll have more, you know, Tasty, Tasty Thursday, Thursday, Thursday videos. Episodes. Yeah. And two, if you have any suggestions mm -hmm. that you want to suggest for a Tasty Thursday video for your kiddos or for yourselves, yep. let us know. And if you want to as well, like comment those suggestions down in the comment section. But yes. also, if you want to be able to directly reach out and give better suggestions and bigger ideas, yeah. um, the link for my website will be down in the description. Please, you know, subscribe to my website. I send out, you know, because we all know that net YouTube is really bad about sending out notifications. Yes. If you want to be the first to know before a video goes out, I will be doing an email subscription list. Um, that way things go out a lot easier and mm -hmm. you guys are more notified as well and you guys don't miss anything yeah um you know and then of course i'm gonna start doing some shorts on youtube as well kind of like daily updates daily mm -hmm. vlogs um that are short and simple that are kind of like you know better to access instead yeah. of sitting out and watching an entire video kind of like we are right now um <laughs> true, true but other than that mm -hmm. um yeah and just FYI, if you have a suggestion, maybe for Halloween or something oh, that's yeah. coming up, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You know? Well, uh, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. Uh, uh, mine too. Yeah. And so, so one of the things that I'm wanting to do, because like every year for Halloween, we always go out to the castle in Muskogee. Yes. Um, we also, we go do stuff. And you know, this is Archer's first Halloween. Yes. Um, so I'm going to be taking him out to some pumpkin patches and stuff. And mm -hmm. of course, Malachi has field trips coming up for school which is actually where he's at right now which is why we're getting away with doing this yes um so but other than that you know i hope that you guys have a very heavenly day i look forward to reading your guys's comments and so does my mom yeah um, my mom will probably be responding to some of the comments as well in the mm -hmm. comment section um if you guys have any questions about this design and what you want to see more of or if you have any more creative ideas Send, them, send me an email. Yeah. Send us a comment. Let us know. And we'll see if we can make that happen. Yeah. So anyways, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.